Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speedier and today playing a little bit of Timber Saw. I'm excited to play this game because it's not an easy one. It's always fun to play against counters because it really... Oh my god, my block. No! But as I was saying, it always kind of truly shows how good you are at your hero, how much you understand your limits. You know, it's one thing to beat Wraith King in lane as Timber Saw or, you know, beat a, you know, a Mars in lane as Timber Saw. It's like, okay, good job, right? But a Monkey King, that's, that's another story. Now, Funny enough, even against Monkey King, I'm actually going to be taking Reactive. I just think that the nukes are not good anymore early on. So I like to take Reactive. And as you can see, Lion wants to trade into me here. It's not, it doesn't do anything. So I really feel like if you're going to play Timber, I, I just think that the nukes are awful, frankly. What is Clock doing? Okay, it's blocking small camp. It's good. So I'm kind of considering going uh, Boots here, but I like sometimes I like to go Boots first against Monkey, just so I can kind of kite away. And I think I might do it. The only other option I like, okay, not bad CS, is just going an early bracer just to make sure I can last hit against him. Because Timber's damage is like pretty bad. So I've been really liking to go bracer and have about like 62 damage, 63 early on, which is quite nice. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I stepped up, I stepped up way too far here. This is really shit. Also, what is Clock doing? Okay, that's some shitty positioning, but this guy's on some crack. I actually... <laughs> okay, I'll focus on my own game, but what in the... I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I guess some solo XP, am I right? Yeah! Okay, okay. So, I guess talking about limits, I didn't really know my limit. It is what it is. At this point, I just gotta make sure I get all these CS, or at least as many as I can. Okay, nice. Okay, almost perfect. Come on, baby. You guys gotta sub the game if I go perfect here. Oh, we're getting it. Oh my god, sub the game leap, everybody. Holy. The reason why you should do that is because every single day we post a new video there. Content that you simply just will never get on YouTube, we post every single day to the website. It's really top tier stuff. I'm very proud of what I make over there. We also have other creators, many of my great friends who are top tier Dota players, creating guides about different heroes, different roles, different items, skill builds, talent builds, everything you need to know to get to the next rank. So if you feel a little bit lost, you're a little bit stuck, click the link down below. I'll see you guys there. And now let's get into the video. Oof, Bracer almost let me get that deny there. But uh, okay, we're fine. As you can see with the Bracer here, we have 68 damage at level three, which is a very comfortable damage. It's very easy to last it with 68. So yeah, that's good. Lane's also in a really nice spot right now. It looks like Lion's going for the side pull. I'm going to let him get it. I don't really mind if he side pulls. Uh, the lane was going to push in anyway, so frankly, if I get to form a large camp, that is that is fine. I'm also going to pull creep aggro here. You can see I'm going to right-click the Monkey King to keep this uh, to keep this creep hitting me. Oh, shit. And that is so that I can keep my reactive here and farm this. I like I honestly don't even care if he gets Jingu at this point. With level 2 reactive, you can tank through Jingu if you built up the stacks. So, yeah, this is honestly really good. I, I think my clock has this game plan of just sniping couriers the entire game. <laughs> Which, frankly, I actually respect that because I've done the same thing before. It's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's okay. The only time you can do it is in games like this. So, like, the fact that he's doing it now shows me that he actually, like, slightly understands when you're supposed to do it at least. But, yeah, I'm going to let this guy get Jingu. As I said, it doesn't really do any damage. Like, this matchup is... It's frankly not even that bad. Like, I've been worrying about it, but I actually don't even think it's that bad. Like, he'll hit you with Jingu. It doesn't do anything. It's not even bad in the mid game as well, because you generally don't get burst in his ulti. So, frankly, I think it's just a decent matchup. So, this clock is hilarious, bro. This is the hardest commitment to giving your offlaner soul XP I've ever seen. <laughs> he is... He is set to zero. <laughs> He's level one, dude. This guy's crazy. NA Dota players need therapy is, is the IO's name. Joke's on him, dude. All Dota players need need therapy. That is... I don't think that's has anything to do with North America as a region. I've played plenty EU games, and I can tell you. SEA, EU. Not any better. <laughs> I think it's just a gamer thing. This lion... I don't know what lion's doing. He's just hitting me. It's not doing any damage, but he's hitting me. This is the nice thing about Timber. If you, if you know how to play the early levels, like, I know I fed first blood, all right, but I'm level five, this guy's level three, which is, you know, mainly because my clock's level one. That's not that's not really what I'm trying to get across here, but you can do fine, even in these unfair... Like, I, I basically don't have a support, and I'm still, you know, vibing outside of the, you know, feed, which just didn't have to happen. I'm just bad. 
Okay, good, really good side pull. This guy's my dude. This guy's the man. <laughs> what rank is he? Five hundred. <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes like these, like I'm not, I don't want to call them low rank because he's not a low rank, but these like somewhat low ranks, uh, in comparison to like I guess what I am, because you know rank six hundred is is funny enough. That's like seven point one. It's like almost a thousand MMR less. So there's obviously quite a, a skill differential between you know players that have a thousand different MMR. Right? It's like a nine K compared to me, or uh, nine point five ten K compared to me. It's, it's it's actually quite different. So they're a lot more sacrificial like i feel like when they see that they have high more players on their team uh they they just get, they're willing to give away their game and i think it's kind of bad to be honest because and and it, I, I would recommend you guys are careful about this in your own games as well where like oh, this is great i'm about to hit level six but don't feel like oh you know it's a higher end game i i have to play like you know wuss or something because it's it's frankly just not needed but look at this shit like they, they can't even do anything to me. I think I'm lying, might die. <laughs> eh. <laughs> That's not gonna save you, brother. Uh, maybe it is. It's not. Took a little bit of damage, but that's alright. I'll take it. For a kill, we take those. We take those. A little bit low now. Uh, I can get a side pull. But as I was saying, it's I don't think it's very good to sack your game. And the reason why I say that... Actually, I'm not going to buy raindrops. I've been really trying to play with buying a lot less regen. I didn't buy any mangoes in this lane. I just focus on my CS, hit my timings, and then play around that. It's something I've been I've been implementing into my game. It's really good. Uh, I've noticed a huge improvement in my just general net worth. And the, the, the counter argument to it is... <laughs> you gave me a self! Oh my god. Oh, I should have screwed that. You gave me a self. Um, okay, I'll get back to my... I'll, you know, maybe I have ADHD. I'm not sure. Either way point was the reason why i don't think it's good to sack your game is basically because it's just too important to be able to make plays and you know a hero like clock kind of can't do shit until he's level three he doesn't do a lot of damage he can set things up but you know you don't can't really make any like any you know, like solid plays yeah, i guess they pulled or something i'm gonna snipe the courier why wow, i one shot that okay all right we'll drag the wave so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take this wave and I'm going to connect it. Uh, I'm going to connect it with, with over here. This is a fantastic Timber game, by the way. They, uh, they really can't kill me. Um, it, it's not like, it seems kind of mad because they have like Void Spear and Lion and so on. But with how good of a game I'm having, I'm, I think I'm going to have no problem just like living through all the ganks. Okay, my Nyx is TP'd in lane. Hope he doesn't. Oh, is this a mid Nyx? Oh, it is. I will pay attention to him to make sure I can help him with the monkey kill. Very, very important. I don't know about this though. I'm actually gonna tank the tower just to keep my reactive up. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take one value. Usually I like just maxing out chain. Because when you when you max out chain, it kind of just lets you not have to use your W for farming. I mean, your Q for pff, your Q for farming, and it's much nicer uh, because the Q is it's a lot of mana for one point. As you can see, it's eighty, which is frankly a lot. Well, I probably could have TP'd on that. I hope I'm looking. But in this game against Mars and Io, I like having the Q. Right, just because it lets me burst them. Nice, my. Boy is flaming my Basil mid game. All right, that's not a useful question. Oh, the neutral item, baby. Okay, we are set. If I don't carry this game, you guys can unsub from game leap. I'm kidding. You're not allowed to do that. I'm getting ping to go top, but frankly, I'd prefer just to cut this wave in, like push this in as far as I can, and then, then if they look to pressure top, I'll TP. But the tower is pretty low. No, you don't need to follow me. I don't want them to follow me. That doesn't that doesn't do much. Definitely gonna go Kaya Sanj here. Kaya Sanj is like, I think it's just the best item on this hero by quite a bit. It's it just gives you the mana you need to farm, makes you super survivable. It's kind of just I feel like nothing comes very close. Like, like when you're having a good game, that is. There there are some games where I'll buy a lotus if I don't like uh you know how the game's going, but oh they have a ward. He backed up as I was coming. I mean I wasn't even threatening him, so it's a little bit weird, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel the need to rotate. Like, I, I mean, I could rotate mid and, you know, potentially threaten a kill. Like, my TA, I mean, my PA is bottom now, and I don't want to take away her farm, so. 
I will I will actually shift to mid, but we don't really have the setup to kill a Void Spirit. So if I'm going to go mid, it's basically just going to be to look to pressure the tower. Yeah, they definitely have a ward. This hill's warded. What the hell that was by them? That was so bizarre. Hmm. Alright, I'm dead. Oh, that's my teammate! <laughs> I'll tip him. Yeah, one thing I do like to do is buy casual belt of strength before the Kaya. But I, I don't know. It's, I guess I was caught out of position. I mean that hill's obviously worded. I didn't I didn't think it would be, but okay. That grave's not gonna do anything, unfortunately. Besides waste a little bit of time. I might be able to kill Io here. I don't know if you can see my TP or not. <laughs> What's that guy doing? Oh, good hook, I think. Can't really get this tower, unfortunately, but... I mean, I, I think... I don't think they have Arena, to be fair. So if Io goes near this tree, I can chain and kill him. Just gotta be patient and watch. Because I can one-shot him from that HP, I believe. Just gonna bully this guy. I, this is something very important to do on Timber. Hmm, I don't think they kill me. For about to find out. Maybe they do. They, I have a grave. Okay, they kill me. Holy shit, I couldn't move. <laughs> I take it back. They could kill me. <laughs> uh, why do I? You know, I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna start going. You know, mode crazy flame. I mean, I, I. You know, I was a little bit far there for sure. I got a mid nix. You know, it's not. It's not optimal. I'll, I'll be real. I, I think it's pretty awful. Actually, it doesn't really do anything. At all. I've played it multiple times before. It can't clear waves. It can't threaten towers. It doesn't gank particularly well. Uh, so, I, I think it's just shit. We can kill them here. Got him with the the with the fake hook. Alright, I'm just gonna let PA farm this. I'm gonna go get, get some nice farm over here. Deny it. No, you didn't deny it. But nice guy. I feel like they're gonna try to chain gank me. I just get this- I have this read right now where I feel like they're about to run at me again, but... I'll take my chances for a moment. See what happens. I've built up reactive, so at least if they go on me now, I'll be alright. Okay, they're not coming bottom. I'm gonna go mana regen. I, I, I just want to flash farm. Oh my god, dude, it's 14 minutes in. Just play. <laughs> if, how do you whine about Tome 14 minutes in? Like, bro, that was four minutes ago. <laughs> I need to probably stop talking to these people. I'm going to tilt them out, but... Like, what in the world? That's so bizarre. Okay, I went Sanj first this game. They have so many stuns. I think it's good. Usually, I like to go Kaya so I can farm a bit more, but I think this build is okay. When my team's taking a fight. I don't think it's so much of a fight. We're pretty far behind. I think my main goal at this point is to scale a little bit. I can. I mean, I'll TP in. They killed Void Spirit. That's fantastic. TP in two, guys. Coming. This looks pretty good, if she can get out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this guy's dead. No, maybe not. They is an IO. Good. Yeah, I think we get the- you can keep going, maybe. It's a good carapace. Oh, there's no tree there? Man, that sucks. I think I'm pretty invincible here. I don't have anything left. I think I killed him here, honestly. Dead- I- I CAN'T MOVE! <laughs> 
Good thing I bought this song, but I legit can't move. <laughs> what a shit show. Get me out. <laughs> oh, dude, I love Timber Saw so much. Dude, this hero is so fun. Oh, this guy might be dead. Oh! Come on, Oklahoma. You're better than that, bro. That's my teammate. <laughs> uh, all right. Take him down. Take him down. All right. I'm going to head back to base. I got no mana. Game's going great, though. I have 121 CS. Good kill participation. I think that's something I've improved on. I, in the past, I would have been kind of nervous to show up to these fights, but I've realized that players don't disengage as well as I think they should. So, like, often I'll, I'll kind of play games with the mentality of they should back, so I'm not going to show up. But then they don't back anyway, and then, like, if I was there, I just would have cleaned them all up. So, often I think I should play more with this mentality of, hey, I think they shouldn't fight us, but they're going to fight us. I'm going to show up. You know, going to buy some clarities here. TP top, clean up top. PA's farming, fine. I need to help her. But yeah, if I get to use this game, I think I think I'll, I'll be able to carry the game alone. Basically, I don't think they'll. I don't think they can do much to me. To, to be frank, until Void Spirit gets some like stupid amount of farm, I don't think they do anything to me. My team is making a dumb shit play right now. Don't do this shit, guys. Where you just like invade that deep. It's so bad. Really, she's gonna use this? When you get a different item, can you drop that? And get our Kaya. Always ship out clarities with the Kaya. Ooh, a stack. I'll trade you items. You're the best. He's not the best. <laughs> I was lying to get what I wanted. <laughs> oh, wait, I already got what I... All right, never mind. Okay, let's stack this up. I don't know what item I'll buy next. I could buy Lotus. Not really sure. Probably shouldn't have taken this camp. It's kind of PA's camp. Griefing a little bit here. I'm gonna take Spill Amp. I don't think I die. I don't think having the extra reactive stacks is, is particularly great this game. What can I chain to? I guess here? What? I think we can fight. I think we can fight. Oh my god, this IO's heal. Doing the damage. Mm. I brought him back where? Like up, I think? I don't know. Okay. Good fight. Good fight. Kind of thinking about buying Shiva's after these fights. I feel like if I just reduce Monkey King's attack speed, I can't really die. Like Shiva's is such a good disruption item. I think I'll probably start with the shard, actually. The shard is, is it's kind of like a mini Shiva's early game. Just the slow is really big. The 30% slow. I mean, it does quite a bit of damage too, but it's it's mostly the slow, which is really nice. It prevents you from getting like mega kited. It also it it kind of works with the um with the chakram slow, and it puts them to a point where even if I get stunned, often you can keep them in chakram. So that's why I think the shard is good. It, it, on paper, it's not like OP, but in practice, it feels really nice. Rushing with timber is actually really good. You do you do a lot of damage to Roche. So if they come, I'm just gonna instantly pop essence ring. Even though we have a Dazzle, I don't want to take any chance of getting bursted. Nice. Free Roche. It's really huge. Fight, guys. Fight, fight, fight. Mm, kite him out. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> he didn't go very far. Couldn't chop him down. Okay, pretty solid fight. Pretty solid fight. Couldn't really get on a target there. But that's all right. Uh, they cut our waves. I'm going to TP top. Just get up my farm. They cut the mid wave, so really we can't push. So instead of wasting any time, I'll just go top. I'm coming. Yep. Kind of almost missed. Looks like my P is getting gone on. She is Aegis, so I'm gonna shift over regardless. We can go, we can go. I'm strong. See, I'm always popping clarities. You kinda just have to. You're a 
Go splat. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> All right, let's just keep cutting across. Now, a lot of people go bottom here instead. I'm gonna cut mid. Just think it's really important to consistently keep your farm up and keep the waves in, right? Make sure they can never push. And uh, you know, but it's mostly it's mostly about the farm, frankly. Mostly about the farm. One build that I've seen recently as well that looked pretty good was Octarine and Ags. It kind of just lets you throw chakrams at people from really far away. I'm gonna give it a shot this game. It's it's definitely an interesting take. It's like the highest DPS build you can go. And it's I think it's only particularly good in games where you don't think you can die. If you can die and you go this build, it's just just not that good. You you're gonna die. <laughs> Which I guess is pretty self-explanatory, but you know. Oh, I can use my flamethrower, I forgot. It actually does a ton of damage to buildings. It's really good siege. Another thing that's you know very positive, just being able to do this. Take down towers? Super nice. Super nice. You do actually need arcane boots to complete Octarine at some point, so... You guys collapse on bottom, I'm just gonna... I'm going in, just back me up. I see you, Io. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think this Monkey King's gonna back. If I'm playing Monkey King here, there's a 0% chance I'm TPing out. I mean, he could... <laughs> that's not true. He might TP top because my team kind of showed bottom, but personally, I wouldn't TP out. All right. Looks like he's gone. What a gamer. What a gamer. This guy's good. Yeah, he did. Okay. I was wrong. You also might be wondering why the Octarine before the Ags. It's just much more mana. Ags doesn't give you really any mana. Obviously, it gives you a bit of mana pool, but other than that, it's pretty trash. Aether, Aether Lens at least gives you some mana regen, which works really nice with the Kaya. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely just, like, better to have this item. So, I don't think my team cut mid, which means I'll be able to get my Octarine here. Uh, definitely going to go Chakram slow. Considering I'm going Ags, like, you can just basically instantly put people at, like, zero movement speed. It's pretty insane. And once again, I, I don't think they can kill... I mean, they can kill me if I get, like, quadruple stun. I just have to not be a psycho and run into, like, eight heroes at the same time. And I should be okay because of the matchups. Also could go bots, which is really nice with Octarine. Such a good combo. Okay, we're just gonna stay mid, uh, especially with Void Spirit being dead. I mean, once again, I can die. They can literally stun me like eight times, but you know, I'll take my chances. Just leave the chakra in there, let it chip down the wave. Cut that up. Could get smoke ganked right now, so I'll try to sit in like a relatively safe position but okay they went on next <laughs> you kind of expect like for some reason my intuition told me that they were gonna smoke i think it's because like high mower players really don't want to get cooped up in their base like they're super afraid of getting stuck and just slowly losing all right i'm gonna tp so they make plays like that also i think soul ring is probably better than point booster where is io we're gonna die brother You are dead. Man, this is such a free timber game. It's insane. I literally get to do whatever I want. <laughs> Give me the rampage, baby! Get over here, boy! Shit. I can't get him in there. Son of a... All right, well, he gets to live this time, but only this time. This is gonna be one of the most farm games I've ever had. I am unbelievably farm in this game. Like, <laughs> this is a ridiculous amount of net worth. Also, after I get the uh, Ags, I'll go I'll go the Eternal Shroud and the Spell Lifesteal at that point is is ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's just an absurd amount of Spell Lifesteal at that point. I'm gonna take top, you slut. Hopefully that stacks. Oh, he's gonna farm it, isn't he? I oh, know he's not. <laughs> Team is going in. All right. That's aggressive. I'm gonna let them do their thing. I'm gonna go farm my eggs off this camp. Honestly, I kind of need to go back to base, frankly. And I'm going to use the spider legs. Honestly, the movement speed is super good. Woo! Super good. Oh, give me that, give me that. 
<laughs> what the? <laughs> I need mana. Oh, I'm getting gone on. Is that just a grief? What is this? Alright, it looks like a grief. Put in my backpack. Oh. Did not have enough mana for this. Mana, mana! I'm dying. <laughs> Alright, I just didn't have any mana. If I had mana, they, I literally could kill them all. <laughs> Let me take a fight without ma with some mana and then whew, put them in the dumpster. Oh, I should have spider legged up the hill. I just realized. Shit. Big noob. Could have lived probably. That's just wait for me. They can't roche. Just... The only way we lose is if you go in and kill yourselves when I'm dead, but you do you. <laughs> How did Io not heal it? How did that work so well? God tier PA. Should never doubt. I wasn't really doubting her there. I was just kind of more so saying like, hey, you're making a, a play that isn't necessarily not going to work. Like, it, it like... You know, she's having a great game. That's not the problem. It's more just like, the only way we lose is if she does something like that. And they all die, and then the enemy team gets Roche, and then I try to contest Roche and kill myself. <laughs> Thanks, just going to clean top up. I don't want to take it, but I'm going to TP bottom. I group up with my team in a second. I can, I can get across the map really quickly. It's honestly it's too many buttons to press. Oh, look at the mana, dude. It's insane how much mana you need. I can't, I barely can sustain this. Honestly, I need like another mana item. I actually legit cannot sustain this. Okay, let's go connect with our team. Looks like they caught Void Spirit. I gotta just stop farming. I can't. I'm gonna take a new neutral item for mana then, I guess. I mean, this doesn't give me enough though, I think. This PA is a menace to our, our team. <laughs> wow, team is in. And I don't have mana. Alright. Honestly, I don't know what I buy to sustain this. It's actually ridiculous. I can't... I mean, I have such low cooldowns because of the Octarine as well. Where I just straight up cannot sustain it. I definitely am going to do like a ridiculous amount of damage in team fights. So that's the upside, but this is, it's like a very heavy play on burst is what this build is. It's not particularly good for just shoving in waves because you're not, you're not that tanky, right? Like I have a lot of HP, but I don't have like armor, right? I have 12 armor. Nice. So this build is very risky. I don't, I think I usually wouldn't go it to be frank. Especially, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a weird one. It's a weird one for sure. We have not taken a Rax yet. I'm going to go cut the bot wave. Once again, I, I don't think they can kill me, especially not with these heroes. Now they don't have enough stuns. Honestly, Lion is my biggest threat at this point in the game. I take Timber Chain range. Actually don't have a dispel for the bloodthorn that they have. 
I could go Lotus. It's honestly a good mana region item. That's my next item. And he went in. Nice, Eternal Shroud gonna give us a lot of mana here. You can see you do it you do a ton of damage. It's honestly just a lot of buttons to press. I think like I, I really don't think I recommend this build. It unless you're like some timber expert, it's it's a ridiculous amount of buttons to press. I guess it's it's actually quite rough. <laughs> it's quite rough. <laughs> I guess this, this is how we siege today. Pop a clarity in their face, see if they cancel it. All right, GG. <laughs> they keep mana draining right as they spear me. They actually really need to mana drain me. I really don't have very much armor. We're killing their buildings. It's not very fast, but they're dying. I think the item with this build usually is Hex, from what I've seen. Look at that damage. Doosh. Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Oh no, Io got abandoned. <laughs> no, Io! Oh shit, I had a chakram out. See, I forgot to pull back my chakram. This is too many buttons, man. It's... I mean, it's it feels pretty good, but it's just so much to focus on. It makes it harder to cast your spells, frankly. Like, I'm having a hard time keeping track of heroes because I'm too fo- Like, my brain is spending so much of its focus just casting spells. That I, I can't pay attention to, like, who's dying, who's alive. Which is actually a big part of the game, so this is something that you'd have to play, like, a shit ton of just to get used to. Literally. Alright, that's gonna be about all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that Timber Saw gameplay, learned a couple of things. And, uh, honestly, the, the, the main thing that that taught me was that the Monkey King matchup... I mean, what rank was that guy? He couldn't have been that high. I feel like he didn't know what he was doing. But if he was high, I mean... I guess, I guess I'll be skewed if he was high rank. Oh, he was. <laughs> At least in relation to me. Uh, all right, well. You can see, I, he didn't do anything to me. In fact, I can kill him in his ulti. Right? <laughs> Oklahoma, hello. Uh, he, I can kill him in his ulti. And uh, yeah, it's just not a bad matchup. But all right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.